Hey guys, Rick with Stumps, and I'm back today playing some more Subnautica. Last episode, I built the radiation suit because let's climb up to the top of our life capsule here. The Aurora set to blow any moment, guys. So we got to get ready. When it does, radiation's going to leak everywhere, but we're prepared. What it didn't make, though, is let's go ahead and whoops, look at my inventory. I didn't get any flippers, and I want some flippers. So let's go ahead and make that. Then I think second on the agenda is we're going to make the Cyclops so that we can get around a little bit quicker. Uh, in order to do that, I think I'm going to need to make like a fabricator thing, which we'll get to. Let's see. Fins. Here we go. I need two silicon rubbers. Oh, that's not even that hard to make. Are you kidding me? I may be able to make that like right now. Okay, I can't. But all I need is four quartz. And it's nighttime, which is the easiest time to find quartz because it's all shiny. And it reflects the moonlight so well. There we go. One quartz. Quartz is going to be so much easier to find than the silver. Silver was so hard to find last episode. Uh, I apologize if last episode was a little bit boring because, I mean, all I did practically the entire time was try to find that damn silver. If it's one thing the devs can do to help us out a little bit is make it a little bit easier to find silver. A little bit. I mean, I guess you can't make it too easy. They've got to make some things hard, I guess, in this game. But it would have helped me out, that's for sure. All right, now that we've got our four quartz, let's go ahead and Swim back to the life pod. Get those flippers made. Or those fins, rather. I keep calling them flippers, but I guess the technical term is fins. Let's get our fins made. Ooh, la dee da our fins. Make our silicone real quick. Two silicone rubbers. That's all it takes to make it. So cheap. So cheap. All right, and those fins get made there. Let's see what else I can build just while we're at it. I can build a rebreather which absorbs CO2 to recycle used air at greater depths. Okay, so I'm going to need to use a rebreather, I think, when we go into lower depths. Uh, this game, you used to be able just to swim as low as you wanted to, but uh, I think that you still can, but I think it consumes oxygen quicker. Uh, let's see. Reinforced dive suit. Heavy aramid. Uh, I don't know what that word is. Fiber dive suit providing 50% physical protection. Okay, that's just kind of like armor. Pretty cool. Uh, tanks, self-explanatory. Pipe, uh, those are so that you can, like, get oxygen from the surface. You can build a pipe, like, down. But, uh, honestly, it just seems, uh, kind of useless. I never used them before. And a thermometer. Oh, that's one of those, uh, HUD sensors for that computer chip spot that we have in our, uh, inventory. And let's see here. Tools as well. A knife would be a good thing to build soon. Not to mention a builder tool. That's going to come in. Absolutely crucial. And here we go, the mobile vehicle bay. This is what I'm going to need to build the Cyclops. So I need a titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. Let's see what I need to make the lubricant and the power cell. The titanium ingot's kind of self-explanatory. Let's see, lubricant. Nope. Uh, power cell is going to be two batteries in silicone rubber. And batteries looks like that's pretty easy to make. Uh, as far as the... Uh, did say lubricant, right? How the hell do I make that? Hmm. Where the hell is lubricant? Water? No. Tools? I am finding lubricant anywhere. Okay, well, this is uh, this is uh, one of life's great mysteries. How do I make lubricant? Hmm. Okay, I'm back, guys. After looking at the wiki, turns out I need creep vine seeds in order to make oh, lubricant. And before I get going, I should probably heal myself up. I'm still at 1% health, which I'm just uh, begging to die at this point. So how do I heal myself? That is uh, something we're going to need to figure out real quick. Uh been a while since I played, so I kind of forget how to heal myself. Hmm. Is there no, like, kind of a kit to heal myself? Equipment, maybe? Here we go. First aid kit. I need uh, creep vine samples and bleach. And then to make bleach, I need salt and coral. Okay. <laughs> And to get coral, I'm pretty sure I need a knife. Oh my god, okay. And to make a knife, I just need titanium and silicone. 
that's really easy to do. I'm pretty sure I have some stuff in here that I can use for that. There we go. Let's make my silicone first. And now I can make my knife. There we go. Beautiful. My first weapon. Greetings from the Aurora. Oh. Severe instability in the primary drive core. Y'all want to see something cool? The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10. Oh, here it comes, nine, guys. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Whoa! It never gets old. I love watching the Aurora explode. Oh, look at a bunch of debris flies off now. Oh, yeah. But now, here comes the radiation. Just like I said, but we're prepared. We've got our radiation suit on, and it's no big deal. Okay, I've got my knife now. Let's go get uh, some coral samples and some of those uh, creep vine samples, too. So the coral, I'm pretty sure that coral... Uh, I just chop it up. Now let's see. I think that this is coral, technically. Let's see. Coral shell plate. Come on. There we go. Pick you up. There we go. I've got some coral samples. There we go. Now I just need to find some creep vine. Now we can collect a whole bunch of creep vine because I will need this for the, uh, the lubricant as well. And this creep vine comes from the seeds. Which, okay. Crappy thing about creep vine is that stalkers love creep vine. So I'm getting myself into a sticky situation here because I'm super low on health. And uh, yes, cut creep vine with the creep vine samples. Okay. I need samples, but I also need seeds, which are those glowy bits there. The glowy bits right next to that stalker who will definitely try to eat me. All right, let's see here. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Can't tell. Did I... Did I... Whoa. Well, we need oxygen. Oh, God. Stalker. Stalker, stalker, stalker. Now, you can sort of tame the stalkers. If I get some scrap metal and I give it to them, they love that. They go crazy for it. They'll think I'm playing with them and it'll sort of tame them. But I don't have any scrap metal on me right now, so that's a moot point. Let's see here. Can I... I can harvest you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I didn't mean you any harm. Oh, he got me. That son of a bitch got me. What did we lose? We lost, like, all the stuff we needed. Ugh, I'm so angry right now. Stupid creeper. Or stalker, rather. Well, on the bright side, I've got full health now. Damn it. Who was I kidding, though? That was a... That was a risky scenario. That had, like, a... 25% likeliness of succeeding... At best, at best 25%. I mean, at worst, like 0%, which is what we just did. Uh, let's see, where am I going? Am I swimming the wrong way? I thought that the uh, kill force was over here. You know what would be helpful? A map. It's the supposed future. You think that I'd have some sort of like a, a GPS. And granted, I've never been to this planet before, but maybe some kind of a... PDA that would be able to map the terrain as I discover it. How about that, devs? Can you make that happen? All right, let's go see what this fragment is. Anything new? Nope. We have a stasis rice fragment. Stasis. Stasis. Whatever. Going ahead and get some creep vine samples. Gonna need that. Back in the good old days of playing Subnautica, this creep vine could be used to make water and all sorts of stuff, and uh, I think that they've nerfed that because it was really easy to get, or uh, not water, but I think food? I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember you being able to get really great stuff from those. There we go. Prefied seed cluster. There's a bunch of clusters over here. Let's go grab all of those. Fantastic. Plenty of creep vine clusters there. We can make tons of lubricant now and we're gonna need salt I think we're gonna need salt in order to make the bleach that we'll need so let's go find some of that before we go home okay 
Oh, we need more coral as well. I wonder what the difference between red coral and green coral is. That's table coral sample. So I think green is just coral sample. Let's see. And I think that's what it said that we needed. There we are. Yeah, that's just the regular coral sample there. It's the stuff we need. Also, salt. Where is salt? Ah, here's one. Okay, there's one. I want to get another one or two just for good measure. You know how it is. I always get one and then it turns out I should have probably got two or three, or maybe even four. Oh, I know that sound. That means I'm backing up. I'm not going to let you blow me up again. Fool me three times. Shame on me. Ah, check this out, y'all. Right here, this is a stalker tooth. These dum-dums, they lose teeth because they're so crazy about scrap metal, and they just go crazy chomping on it, and their teeth fall out. But the good news is that I'll need those later on, so their loss is my gain. Dumb stalkers. They really are dumb. But maybe the same could be said for me because I still haven't found any more of this damn salt. Ugh. So here's a curious thing. I just opened my inventory and uh, these are rotten creep eyed samples, which, uh, okay, I'm hoping that the sample could still be used and that the rotten aspect just means that it'll be bad for me if I eat it. So I'm just going to not eat it, and I'm going to take it back, and hopefully that sample will work for the thing that I need it to work for. Hopefully. Oh, God. If there's a time limit on creep vine, man, and I have to get the sample back to the escape pod in a certain amount of time, I'm going to be kind of PO'd about that. I didn't sign on for this, man. This right, this rotten creep vine business. Okay. Come on, salt. Ah, salt! Beautiful. Oh! Let's get the hell out of here. I heard those bomber fish doing their bomber biz. Oh, we're almost done here. Okay, I need to switch. There we go. Switch my knife. Looking at that air sac just creeps me out every single time. Alright. So what were we in the mood for creating, we were going to create this mobile vehicle bay, which is going to take titanium, lubricant, and a power cell. Okay, so we wanted to make the lubricant, which I believe was, uh, here we go, lubricant. That wasn't there before because apparently I didn't have what I needed to make it. But now that I do, that lubricant is made, now I'm going to make a bunch of titanium, which then I'm going to make an ingot with. And in order to make the ingot I need, it looks like 10 titanium. There we go. And I can totally create that now. Lastly, what else did I need? A power cell, that's right. Oh, I needed some of those, uh, those delicious mushrooms. Acid mushrooms, which are super easy to get because they are literally everywhere. Like right here, acid mushrooms. Bam, bam. Just two of those. Simple enough. Which means that now I can create my power cell. Do, 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 do. Power cell, power cell. Wait. Did it say I needed a battery or a power cell? It said I needed a power cell, right? Wait, what the hell? Oh, I need two batteries to get a power cell. Okay. Stupid me. I need to pay closer attention. All right, now that I've got my two batteries and my silicon rubber, I'm ready to make my power cell, which should be the last ingredient that I need in order to create my mobile vehicle bay, which it is. Bam, right there. A mobile vehicle bay has been crafted right there in our inventory. So here's what we would do with this bad mamma jamma. We say release bay vehicle. Vehicle bay released. It's going to hang out right there next to our skate pod. And I can climb up onto this thing. See, these guys, they're our helpers. They're going to build the stuff that we want. I'm going to click on this and right here, vehicles. 
Oh, Cyclops. Okay. I can only build the Cyclops. Why is that? Have I not used the... Uh, oh, the Fragment, which is the Seamoth Fragment. Okay, let's make sure that I still have that on me. Indeed, I do. It's right here. I think I need a Fragment Analyzer. Oh, yes. This is all coming back to me now. Let's see here. Fragment Analyzer. Is that, is that around somewhere? Okay, guys. Turns out I need a Fragment Analyzer to make the Cyclops. And in order to make the Fragment Analyzer, I need a Builder Tool. The Builder Tool, which requires me to... Find more Silver. Which I'm not super stoked about because Silver is such a pain in the ass. But, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go find that Silver. But first... Let's fill our bellies because we are hungry. There we go, silver. I've just been looking in the wrong place, guys. Even though you are supposed to be able to find silver in all sorts of biomes. There we go, another silver. I guess you're just way more likely to find it in this biome. But there's also a lot of bad guys around here, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm not going to press my luck. There we go, three silvers? Holy moly. I'll take the salt, too, because that was hard to find before. All right, that was a good run. Good run, you guys. Good game. I'll see you back at base. We should have all the goodies we need now to make the builder tool. So, in order to make the builder tool, I need a computer chip and a battery. I've got a battery in this chest right over here. That was one of the things we were lucky enough to start with. So now all I need is a computer chip, which I need table coral and quartz to make. Do I have any quartz in here? I do not, but here, I'm going to go ahead and clear out some space here. All this rotten... There we go. Creep vine, I'll just stick in there, and let's go ahead and go out there and chop up some table coral. Now, you guys may remember table coral was the red coral. So let's find the red coral and chop it up good. Try to catch some peepers along the way, too, because I'm still hungry. Yeah! And peepers make good eating. Where are you at, red coral? There we go. Tons of red coral. Table coral. It breaks really easily, which is nice. There we go. Take a bunch of that. And now we just needed one quartz. Which should be easy enough. Oh yeah, we can dig in the sand, by the way. Check this out. See? Doesn't really do anything. But you can do that. It's a thing that can be done. There we go. That's the quartz I was looking for. That is the quartz you were looking for. Ooh, one more quartz for good measure. Heck yeah. There we go. That should be everything we need now. The computer ship should be available to us. It is. Well, la -di da Look at that. Would you look at it? We're going to build a builder tool now. Ba bam Now that I've got the builder tool, which I will equip here, here we go, guys. So here's everything I could build. Uh, I can build all the components that we need to build a base, which we will do next episode. But this episode, I want to build... Here we go. Fragment Analyzer, which I'm going to need one more computer chip, and a wiring kit. I think I got a wiring kit in here as well. I did. So that's one less thing to worry about there. I just need one more computer chip. And I did grab some extra stuff. Yes, I do have enough to make one more computer chip. Radical. So I should be able to build my fabricator, or my fabricator analyzer thingy. Can I not build it in here? Hmm. It doesn't look like it wants to be built in here. Okay, maybe I should build a little temporary base where I will hopefully be allowed to build my fabricator. In order to build my temporary base, I'm going to need some things, though. I'm going to need titanium first up. There we go. And I'm going to need some glass. I think that should be all I need. I'm going to need a hatch, though, too. So uh, let's just get started and see, see what we can do here. So, 
I'm going to build the simplest of bases right now, which is just going to be a tube. Just a single tube, but you got to start somewhere. All right. Now I'm going to need to build a hatch so I can get inside. Bam, done. And we're in. So this is our base. It has no power, but, you know, it's a, it's a start. But it's good enough for my my analyzer. Would you look at that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on it. Whoop. Actually, whoop. Let's try clicking the other way, huh? There we are. I'm going to drop that guy in there. Let's see if I can do multiple. I can. There we go. Now go ahead and just detect all that for me, would you? So it's just going to do its detecting biz, and now we're just going to wait. New technology created. We finally unlocked the Seamoth blueprint, so we should, fingers crossed, be able to build the Seamoth on this bay. Well, it'll tell us what we need to build it, at the very least. There we go. So we need a power cell, two glass, and one lubricant, which is totally, totally doable. That we can do. Now, power cell, we needed two batteries, which means that we need four of the acid mushrooms, and we need two copper. And the lubricant, that was the seeds from the creep vine. And glass, that's just quartz. These are all really easy things to find. Now, everything seems a lot easier when you're not having to try to find silver or salt, which, of course, once we found the grass area, sure, we found those things easy enough, but still, could be easier, could be easier. Now, I'm just trying to find the kelp forest so that we can go steal some seeds. Kelp forest, ahoy! We found it! Where the hell are those seeds at? Ooh, let's get some air. Give me that air, sucker. I don't see any seeds just yet. There we go. Filled up on air, though. Seeds have got to be... There we go. Ooh, that's a good seed haul. Get that seed. That'll give us the lubricant we need. There we are. That should be plenty of seeds. We shouldn't need more than that by any means. But now we need copper and titanium. No, no, no. Copper and uh, quartz. What am I talking about? Copper and quartz. Keep the eyes peeled for the quartz. That's going to be the tricky bit. Well, there's the first of the quartz that we'll need. Now there's some more quartz. Let's crawl down here and see if we can find any copper. Whoop. Let's turn back. Because those are the blowy uppy fish. Don't like those guys. Those jerks. There we go, quartz. Oh man, this place is chock a block with quartz. Look at this. Quartz for days. I'm just gonna get all of it because it Oh god, a dead end? That sucks. That sucks. Okay. We're gonna make it though. We're gonna make it. We've got this. Okay, quartz, check it off the list. Next up we just need copper. And then we should be in business. Then we should be in Seamoth Town. Population me. You know, I may actually have the copper that I need. Whoa, that's the sound of a stalker. I'm pretty sure I have a cache. Ooh, get away from me, stalker. Of copper. Back at the escape pod. Now let's just go check that out. I feel pretty confident that I do. Okay, Stalker's gone. Great news. Great news, Stalker's gone. Yay, no more Stalker, yay! Okay, I needed glass, I needed a power cell, and I needed lubricant. Those were the three things I needed. Glass, power cell, lubricant. Okay, oh, let's go get the copper first, which I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, I had so much copper, are you kidding me? Okay, let's put some of this stuff in. I'm almost positive I'm not going to need all of that. New technology acquired. 
Ah, yeah, my Fragment Antliner is still hard at work, and we've got Propulsion Cannon Blueprints unlocked. Super friggin' duper. Okay, let's see. Two batteries. And silicone, rubber, okay. We should have enough to make that. There we are. Let's make our lubricant. Let's do the uh, power cell. And I need this some glass too. Glass. Okay, I'm gonna make two glass just to be on the safe side. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all we needed. Let's get on board. Come on, Cyclops. Yes! Watch these guys go to work. Build our Cyclops. Oh yeah, guys. Next episode, we're going to be mobile. We're going to go tour the mysterious depths of of this alien island in our fancy sea moth submarine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So one thing that we should talk about right now is that for those of you guys who've watched my last playthrough, you might remember that this thing was pretty durable. It could take a beating, and it could also dive about as deep as it wanted to dive. Uh, the Cyclops, on the other hand, couldn't go too deep. It would crush under depths. Now, well the Seamoth does as well. And what we need to do is build... Where is it at? This guy. Seamoth Upgrade Console. So we need to build a moon pool first off, and then we need to build this console to upgrade our Seamoth. So the Seamoth is only going to be good for exploring the shallower areas right now. But we will, Welcome soon enough, Captain. build a moon pool, and we'll get to work on upgrading our Cyclops. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll go poking around this world a little bit more in depth. Maybe try to make a trip to the Aurora, if we're feeling cheeky enough, because there is some stuff on the Aurora, which we will need in order to upgrade our Cyclops. And uh, there's plenty more to see in this game, guys. I hope you guys are digging it. And if you are, I hope you'll give us a like. I hope you'll share and subscribe. And come back next time when we'll be exploring this strange and alien world of Subnautica. I'll see you guys then.